Welcome back again, everybody, to another episode of the Tokyo Ninjas Odd Man Rush Discord Server Franchise Mode. God, that is not any less of a mouthful. Anyways, so I decided let's... Uh, so we were rudely interrupted last night. Sorry about that. My friend came over and I was... The guy's the, as I said, the great friend that I am. I forgot that she was coming over. But anyways, I have nobody coming over today. Hopefully the only people that interrupt me are the people that live in my home, which is kind of unavoidable. But hey, whatever. Um, but let's actually look at... I want to look at the progress reports right now. Um, we haven't checked those at all yet this year. So let's see who's grown over the course of the year so far. Um, who's grown the most? Um, looks like I've grown the most. That's pretty crazy. 19, I'm up to an 80 overall. Um, Taro Sujimoto is also up to an 80... Is up to an 87 overall. He grew by 16. Odd Man Rush is up by 11. He grew to 80. Um, Martin is up to a 79. Batherson has grown, but not by overall. Um, Lemieux up to a 79. Um, Carver's up to a 79. Senpai has grown, but not enough to make him uh, a little bit better. Or not to make, enough to make his overall go up. Montador's up to an 82. HHG has grown a little bit. And um, looks like Macaroni Man has not grown yet, even though he's an 80 overall. Oh, no, I think I made him an 80 overall. I'm not sure. Um... But yeah, that looks like it for uh, up in the big squad. Let's go in the system and see who's grown down here. So Axel Anderson is up to a 67 overall. Holy cow, dude, in his first year. He's only eight, still only 18 years old and he's 67. He started the year as a 58. Man. I'm glad we picked him up. He looks like he could definitely be a good uh, good defenseman going forward for us. Uh, Mandelisi is up to a 68. He's playing, uh, what is he playing in the queue or something? Not the queue. Is he playing in the uh, the CHL? Well, he is playing in the queue. Yep, 16 and 16. He's looking okay. Um, Nick Paul has grown, but not enough to make his overall go up. Nermi is up to a 62. Ronning has grown, but not enough to change his overall. Bowden is up to a 64. Burke's up to a 66. Formenton's up to a 71. I believe he's also playing in the Canadian Hockey League. Um, yes, he is in the OHL. He's got 50 points in 33 games. He looks like he's killing it down there, man. He's looking good. 136 shots, 19 goals, 31 assists for 50 points. Sheesh. In 33 games, man, he's pretty good. He's averaging at least a, a point or an assist per game. Almost an assist per game. Nice. Um, Sturtz is up to a 60, or is, is still a 69. Um, All has grown up to a 66. Peros is up to a 72. Matheson's up to a 75. Nice. Our starting goaltender down there. How is he doing? I don't think we've checked. Um, 914 save percentage, 2.58 goals against. He's looking solid. Um, Not great on the win-loss ratio, but he's got three shutouts, and he's got one more win than loss, and four overtime losses. So that's to be 28 and 4 is 32, so he's almost got as many points as games played that's uh more backup numbers but anyways he's still his save percentage looks really good um goals against looks really good too he's definitely probably going to be a, a backup for us next year um abramov's up to a 68 wick strands up to his 60 or 71 gustafson has grown but has not gotten any better um hollett has to say pretty or has done more of the same so what is it Gustaf gustafson and um is it Gustafson and Matheson down there in the AHL? Yes, it is. 4 9 and 2 with one shutout, 9 0 1, 2.83. Not bad. He's okay. He's doing all right for a backup. Um, Hollett, is he playing in the WHL? Yep, 20. He's uh, got the wins, but his, his save percentage and goals against isn't this good. But he's looking okay, but he's a backup. He may not be some. Branch grown by one, but not gotten any better. What's one up? Just discipline. Okay. And uh, same thing with Parker Kelly, although I don't think he's played any. Is he playing? He's playing in the WHL, 50 points in 36 games. He's doing really well, too, 23 goals. He's a high AHL top six, but you never know. We, he might be a depth guy for us, maybe even very, maybe even possibly a uh, fourth liner. And uh, and that's it for uh, yeah, that's it for the growth. So that's it. That's all we've had. Um, but so far we are doing crazy and I did look through the league at, at standings and we are second in the entire league um, behind um, who is, somebody had 75 points which is just insane but yeah we are top of the Atlantic division with 65 points um, we would be the top of the of the metro too because they got Carolina's in front with 61 Washington Pittsburgh Philadelphia Columbus New York Islanders New Jersey Devils and the New York Rangers Ooh, sorry out man rush not doing too well, but maybe they're trying to lose for Hughes. Maybe they're trying to get that first overall. They got second this year, so we'll see what they get with that. Yeah, San Jose's leading the league with 72, um, 72 points, but we, they are the only team that is doing better than we are. 
Yeah, 35 wins. And Nashville's got 64. They're right on our tails, but they're in the Central Division. So, yeah, the uh, league looks like that. If you guys want to stop and see your favorite team other than Tokyo on there, um, how's Pittsburgh doing? I want to check my Pittsburgh. They're in third place in the Metro. Okay, 56 points. They're okay. Um, but yeah, so we're doing really, really well. Um, I don't think we're going to do anything with the trade deadline. Um, I've been thinking about it for the last, what, about 12 hours or so? Maybe, maybe a little more than that. I forget how long since we made our last video, but I am going to simulate up to the trade deadline. However, I don't think we're going to do much. Um, I don't really think we need anything. We're doing amazing. We've got almost 30 wins of the year. We got still more. Oh, Mario Lemieux's been injured. Okay, we got to find a center now. Um,. We can move up Batherson. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to move up Batherson. We're going to switch Lammy with Colburn. Remember how I said Jared Lammy's our guy, our, our Swiss Army knife. We can kind of put him anywhere we need him. He, I believe, I'm going to I'm gonna double check this, but I'm pretty sure his face-offs are definitely decent enough to... Why is he listed as a grinder? I thought he was a two-way forward. It's like... What the? Yeah, he's got separate phrase offs. What is going on? Is the player type changing? Or did I go in and change player types without remembering? I don't think I did. Because I remember making myself a playmaker. Or, uh, uh, um, making myself a enforcer. That's what I was thinking of. Um,. So, Sujimoto is... He is a sniper. Okay. Senpai is a playmaker, I believe. Um, that's really weird. He's a two-way forward, right? Yeah. I, it's really weird, because, like, I could swear that I made Jared Lammy a two-way forward, since he's what he wanted to be. And he even said in the last video, or in the first video, that he was a two-way forward and got the fourth-line enforcer role. But he's a grinder. I don't really care. I'm okay with that. I like grinders. But that's just... That's weird. That's weird. I don't know what's going on. But I th I'm thinking something's fun something funky's going on in this playthrough. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's fine. we got Stuart Carver. I think I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to switch Carver and Odd Man Rush. Because Odd Man Rush is supposed to be a lefty. But he would play the left side if he was a defenseman anyway. So we're going to make him there. And since Carver is technically the more defensive of the two. Since he's the enforcer. We're going to have him be up there. And he's going to try to get on that off wing. and Off wing. Off side. And see how he can do for... Um, he's got 5 points, 40 games. You know what I'm going to do too? I'm going to do another thing here. Let's put in Cam Barker for the rest of the year. And see how he does. Because he's got 5 points in 12 games. And I'm pretty sure that Justin Falk had 4 had four points in like 48 games. So he's a 70 overall. But you know what? Let's see if we can get him a little better. See if we can get him any kind of statistical growth. Because he's averaging almost a half a point per game. Which is pretty impressive for a 70 overall. 70 overall defenseman. So let's just keep going simming here. Falk can be our, our depth call up guy. Sturt's fully healed. Awesome. Um, okay, well, he's already there, and Sturtz is, uh, since Sturtz is not as good, potentially, as Ronning, we are going to switch them, since Ronning is now up to a 69 overall at 21. He's a little behind, but I think he's got plenty of time, as long as he continues to play well and get points. I think he's got plenty. He's got 11 goals already. Um, Peros is up to a 73. He's got 18 goals. Wow. Freddie Hamilton? How are you doing? You're not a, you're not a, a, a prospect, though. That's crazy, though. Sturtz has 8 and 13, and Ronning's got what, 11 and 7? That's 18, and that's 21. So, yeah, technically Sturtz has got more points, but we want we want Ronning to grow more than we want Sturtz to grow, so we're going to let them do that th do their thing there on the uh, second and third line. Jack Roadwaddle's fully healed. That's great, considering we don't use him, so I really don't care. Everybody we have, we, we don't have anybody scratched that we want to play other than not just Davidson, but he's, yeah. 21 at 60 overall, probably not going to be much anyways. 4-1 to one mid, back to back wins there, three in a row. Oh, I didn't check to see if we, okay, we don't play, we don't play Buffalo or anybody. Okay. So 32, 16, and 7, we're still doing really, really well. Still doing really well, I like this. We're looking good. Looking good. Uh, Marilyn Mew is back, alright, sweet. So why don't we... Uh, oh, Batherson's up to a 78, so we're going to put him back down there. We're going to switch Lammy with Lemieux, who's still a 79. Solid depth. I mean, they're all pretty close in overall, but... 
they're all completely competent. We'll put Lammy back there on the left wing. Um, that's weird. I swear to God, I made him a two-way forward. <laughs> Let's go do that. Let's actually stop and do that. I'm going to make myself an enforcer, and I'm going to make him a uh, two-way forward. Because I think that's the way I had it before, but for some reason it's changed. But oh well, whatever. We'll do it that way and see what happens. I'd like to see if I continue to, to produce the way I've been producing as an enforcer, um, as opposed to a, a playmaker. If I still pass a lot and everything, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna end. We're gonna we're gonna stop this here. And here we go. We're gonna switch these guys up here because I need to make Lammy a two way forward. Because I'm pretty sure he said me is a two way forward. I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're a two way. Oh, we're now second. Tampa Bay surpassed us in Boston side with us, but we're still doing really well. Um, let's see, edit player. I want to see if I could. I don't. I, I don't think I can change handedness at this point, though. Let's see. Can I change handedness? Oh, odd man rushes up to an eighty-one. Nice. He keeps growing. He's just gonna keep on growing, isn't he? We're gonna have a bunch of team of like ninety overall dudes. I swear. Um. Can I change his handedness? No, I cannot. I can't make him a lefty. Okay, but we can change how often people fight. But that's awesome. Everybody's gonna continue to fight often because we all fight often. Everybody does. That's just how it is. And I'm pretty sure Lemieux and Peros both do because I have them both as physical type players. P Peros definitely fights often. That much I do know. Um, all right, we're going to change me to a enforcer. <laughs> I'd love to see if I grow differently too. We'll make an experiment, but I swear to God I, I made myself an enforcer to start off with. Um, but we're going to do it anyways. We're going to make me an enforcer. <laughs> Actually, you know what? No. Since we already have the Enforcer as a defenseman, I'm going to make myself a grinder. And I'm going to change Lammy to a two-way forward. So I'm not going to necessarily be a grinder, but I'm going to be, be an Enforcer. But I'm going to be a grinder. I'm going to be that grindy kind of real, like, you know, core guy, kind of a leader. But, I mean, you got me and Odd Man Rush and Sujimoto are your, are your, your leaders. I'm just, you know, I'm a general, so I got I to gotta lead from the back. I should lead from the front, though. Where where is he? Where's Lammy? There he is. Nope, not not Falk, not Falk. I don't want Falk. No 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 no. Why is this being so slow? Okay. Let's just continue. I don't want to deliver I didn't change anything, we'll just go continue. Okay, come on. That's a plane. Or a jet, rather. All right, Lammy's going to be a two-way forward. Oh, he's up to 18. <laughs> Welcome to adulthood, buddy. You are officially an adult. In the, the United States, you are, anyway. All right, Jared Lammy. I don't know why he's a grinder. Maybe he, I didn't see that he wanted to be a two-way forward, but he's going to be a two-way forward now. So he is a two-way forward. There we go. Continue. All right. There we go. Now that's changed. Let's continue going on. See if I do any better, or if I, if I do worse. I'd like to see if I do worse as an as a grinder than I do as a playmaker. But I mean, my stats are exactly, or my my, my um, attributes are exactly the same. So we'll actually see if player type dictates how a player plays. I'd be very interested to see. Suji Moto with fifty seven points. He's again at above a point per game. It looks like he's probably going to win the Calder. He's in the eighty eight overall now. Damn. Um, let's just do it. Okay, so I'm at 10 and 28. 38 points. And we're going to look at Lammy and see what Lammy's got so we can kind of make a, a footnote here. So he's 7 and 5. So we got 7 goals, 5 assists. So he had 12. And I have what? 38? 38. Okay. We're going to simulate up to here. We're, gonna, we're just going to see. Yeah, I had 38 points. And just need, we just need to remember that. I can always go back and rewatch the video later on and, and, and see for the next video. But we'll see. Uh, if I continue to produce like this as a different player type. Let's keep going. All right. 32, 17, and 7. Belleville is not doing good. Freddie Hamilton has been injured with a sprained ankle. Oh, go oh goodness. Not Freddie Hamilton. Oh, Paul's up, though. Actually, so let's do Labate. And then we can do Bowden and Burke. Is it Bobby Burke? Raiden Burke. I'm gonna call him Bobby Burke. Bobby Burke and then Nick Paul. Be a first line power forward center. How's Barrows doing? He's 20 goals. Nice about rotting. 15. 
Nice. Looks like uh, Nick Paul was playing well with those two guys. How is he doing? He's got 11 and 19. Nice. All right, let's keep on moving. Mark Stewart, he wasn't, he was only minorly injured, right? It was a fake injury. It wasn't a real injury. Yeah, he's fine. Whatever, let's keep going. And we'll, and we'll see how Cam Barker did too, because I think he had, what, five points? 12 games? We'll see if he, if he gets up to a half point per game. Robert Bortuzzo. We want Bortz? I doubt it. 29, 78 overall. I mean, Technically, we could use him, but I don't think we need him. We're doing so well that I really don't think we need him. And how the hell did he fall all the way to us? We're like second in the freaking league. Nobody freaking wanted him. Matheson's fully healed. I didn't know you were injured. He wasn't even injured, was he? Is it another fake injury? Yeah, another fake injury. He's up to 76, though. Look at that. So still listed as a minor starting goal. He'll definitely be be a uh, a backup next year, though. But hell, if 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 um he wasn't out, was he? No, because it was at center. Or maybe he was. Oh yeah, because Boston Lears are there. So yeah, he was out. Okay, so we got all back. Cool. Keep keep on trucking. All right, let's go. Let's keep on moving here. All right, five to three win over New Jersey. Freddie Hamilton's back. Nice. I don't know why I'm spending so much time on the AHL team. I don't really care, but we want our guys to grow, I guess. I guess that's my, my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. It's Freddie Hamilton on that first line. I'll put Nick Paul back here on the second, and then we're going to put Burke on the third, and then Bowden on the fourth, like we had it before. Then Labate with four Bowden. Okay. Cool. Everybody, there we got everybody back where they belong. Full strength. Oof, two to one shootout loss against Columbus. Yeah, I can't. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Cody Golubev is fully healed. I don't think he was out though. I think he was still playing. A lot of these like temporary injuries. Oh, Sturtz is up to a seventy. I might need to move them. Him and switch him and what's his name again? Oh, who was the guy? Yeah, Golubev. Oh, Brandstrom's up to a 73. All right, we can move him up. England, you're going to get down to that second pairing then. <laughs> Anderson's up to a 67. Nice. But yeah, Brandstrom up 73. We got, we, got two, we got two good, solid defensemen coming up here, Anderson and Brandstrom. And I think Golubev's a Oh, no, he's at ex exact seven. Um, England's a low top six. He may, maybe might make the team. At best, probably a depth guy. But yeah, Branstrom was growing, growing really well. He started off the year, I think, as a 71. Now he's up to a 73. What do you got for points? One goal, but 25 assists. Nice. Nice job, buddy. Way better than Golubev. Well, England. How'd England do? 3 and 10. Yeah, Branstrom was leading our defenseman, I think, with 26 points. So he had 18. England's got 13. Wickstrand's got. 22. No, Wickstrand's actually leading the team. Imagine that. Anderson's got 13. Nice. And Murray's got 10. So our defensemen are doing alright. Let's keep moving though. And we lost against uh, Calgary. Let's check and see how we're we doing at the trade deadline. We've lost a lot that month. <laughs> we're still second, but we've definitely come down to earth a bit. Um, Still better than the entire Metro though. Um. Yeah, we're still like third. In, we're we're third best in the league behind Tampa and San Jose. So we're still the third best team in the league. So hey, I'm okay with that. Yeah, we're gonna. Oop, don't nope, not that. But yeah, we're not even doing the trade deadline. Fuck it, no trades. I don't like to really make a lot of trades anyways, unless it's like a, a glaringly obvious trade. Um. Okay, let's see what we have up here. Um. Many games against Montreal. No, but we do have a game right here against Buffalo. So we got Buffalo, and then we got New York. And then Buffalo again, and then the end of the year. Okay, so let's simulate up here to this Buffalo game. We're gonna do the the slow sim for these last three games to end off the year. See where we end up. But I'm I'm pretty confident. Oh, Steve Mason, but I'm pretty sure Steve Mason had a fake injury. Let's uh, see how he's doing. Anybody? Any more growth? I don't well, see any more growth. Um, everybody looks like they're about the same as they have been. I'm not gonna check my points. What do we have? 38. I remember I had 38 points. Mason's still an 80 overall. How's he doing? 9-2. He's still looking real good. How did 
There we go. Okay, he doesn't have the the wins, but there we go. His his save percentage and goals against has come up a lot. See, I told you. I said, you know, he's just working. On, he was working off that that poor start, but he's doing real real good now. Look at him. He's looking great. I mean, him and Mason are are both being very very solid for us this so far. Um, Mason's got 26 wins on the year, 52 points just from him, and then another 16 from. Uh... Ow! That was my ear. That was my dog, and that hurt my ear. Anyways, so yeah, cool, cool. Let's keep going. See, so yeah, we're gonna sim up that Buffalo game, and then we'll slow sim Buffalo. Cam Barker is fully healed. I thought he was a honey. Look at all these damn little fake injuries, man. How Cam Barker doing? Eight points. He's still doing better than the guy we had down there before. So you know, Cam Barker, the legend, Cam Barker. Maybe he can go. Oh, Montador's been injured. Okay, well then. Um, hmm. I guess we're going to have to do the thing we did before. We're going to have to uh, put Colburn here on the left wing. Even though we could play Colburn at center too, because he is good enough um, to play. But I think we should do go with Lammy instead. He is a two way forward, and he is our. Uh, our Swiss Army knife there. We're gonna set him down there, and we're gonna put Batherson here on the third line. We'll put Lemieux on the second line, and then we'll put myself on the top line as a <laughs> number one center enforcer or grinder. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, Sujimoto, 88 overall. Let's see how we can do. How's Grabner looking? <laughs> wow, 44 points. Holy shit, Grabner. Where did that come from? Fucking Camilleri's got 41. My God. Holy crap. Freaking all of our old guys are like coming out of nowhere. Like Grabner and Camilleri, like, okay, Grabner maybe I could, I could kind of see. A 20 goal, probably a 20 goal, 20 goal a year. Maybe 20, maybe 15 from Camilleri. But like, where did you come from, guys? My goodness. And we're not going to check out any of the other guys till the end of the year. Um... But yeah, five to three win over Edmonton. Nice. Tampa Bay three to two over Tampa Bay. Yeah, they're leading our division uh, shootout loss. There we go to come back and win against New, New York Islanders. Um, get points out of it though. Overtime loss and a shootout loss. There's a loss to Boston in regulation. Um, lots of overtime wins or overtime losses though. So where was that? 60, 74, 84 points. Bruce Montenegro is back. Nice. Um, yeah, we're at eighty four points now. I'm pretty sure that we're gonna be good enough to. Uh, make the playoffs. I think the playoffs are, are... Montador was not a sniper. He was most definitely a two-way forward. I need to go back and look at this stuff. Because for some reason, it's 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 weird. It's like people are not who they are. It's like... You know how like you can... You, you, sometimes the potential will change? It's almost like the player type is changing based on like how they produce. That is so bizarre. I mean, I I guess I kind of like that because it's kind of interesting. But like seriously, that's weird. <laughs> I find it weird that Lammy's a grinder. What about HHG? You were a two way forward. Okay, you're still a two way forward. Batherson was a yeah, he was two way forward. I think Senpai was a two way forward, right? No, nope, he was. Oh no, that's right, he was a playmaker. Yes, yes. Um, Martin was a two-way. He's still a two-way. Okay, this, it's just, it weirded me out. It's just weird to me. I didn't look at that. I didn't see that. I did not see that. I didn't see that. I did not see any of that. I promise. Six to three over Philly. Yes. Beat Flyers. I hate the Flyers. Ooh, and a big win against St. Louis. Eight to two. Six to five overtime win against Toronto. There we go. Getting up, put up six goals. All right, let's check our draft class now. Yeah, we're going to definitely get to the end here. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about whether or not I want to do the playoffs, so I think I might, though. I think I might. Any sleeper picks? Turin and Fedorov, still nothing. Can we scout them? No, Stone cannot scout them. I can scout Turin. Let's scout him again. Okay, Couture was the guy we did last time, last video. Let's do somebody different. He's got 17 points. Cool. Um, any elites? Yep. Pleaking off. Let's see. Can we can we scout you again? Yes. Let's scout you again one more time. Um, with Kavasha. Kavasha can go in there. Uh, 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 uh. Benino. There's a name I want. Guillermo Benino. There's a freaking name right there. Guillermo. Okay. Oh, not playing style. We want potential comparison. Um, all right. 
Oh, my nose itches. All right, gems and busts. All right, let's, look. let's actually just look a lot a little more. See if there's any uh, low elites that are exact. Yep. Mirov is a oh, and this offensive defenseman at 97, low elite. There we go. Is he lefty? Oh, he's a righty. Dang. I didn't want him to be a left-handed defenseman. We got enough righties. But this Miranov guy, these two, there's Miranov right here. He's a 44 overall. What's his? Uh, he's so, no weaknesses, though. Offensive instincts, defensive zone, passing ability. That looks good. With Mesh Millennial Locker Room, has a very well-rounded personality. Awesome. And then we have Essa Pirieta. Pirieta? Maybe Coach Kandiv can help me with that pronunciation. I know that the, this guy is Finnish and not Norwegian, but he might be able to give me some kind of insight into how that particular last name is pronounced because that's it looks like Perietta or Perietta Pergetta I'm not sure I'm just a stupid American I don't know how to pronounce names there's Hy there's Nikonen where's that other dude? oh yeah right here Griffin Hall at 80 um let's look at these got some top fours just to have them pinned never know when they're gonna pop up low top fours oh here's a starter goaltender let's look at goalies not that we need him just see if there's anything good i think markov's gonna be the best one no he's not gonna be the best one. Oh, he is the best one he's the highest rated as far as ranking goes um so let's let's scout him and see where he's at i mean worst case scenario there's you know trade value i sound really stuffy don't i i probably do i am kind of stuffy all right Let's keep going on the year. Let's end the year. We'll go up to this Buffalo game, and we'll see how we do against our arch rivals, the Buffalo Sabres. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five wins in a row. We are so going to be going to the playoffs. Can we win the cup in year one? Ooh, look at this. John Martin is up to an Eddie. Freddie Senpai. Freddie Senpai. I told you. We are doing it. Freddie Senpai is now our second line left winger. He is, he is, and HHG is up to an A78 overall. I still haven't grown at all, neither is uh, Tsujimoto. Let's see defense. Omar and Carver are both up to 81. Nice. Look at that. 40 points for Carver in his rookie season. Season. Omar gets uh, 20. How is the, how is the, I don't get this. How does, it's like crazy. He, the, the, the is he still an enforcer? He is still an enforcer. He's an enforcer defenseman, and he's got 40 points in 74 games. That's insane. That's so crazy. Let's see if uh, Unknown is grown. Nope, he's still at 80. What about down in there? Nope, still 76. Let's look at starting lineups to see if anybody else has grown down here, just because we know guys up top have. Yep, Paul's up to a 74, so we're going to switch him and Hamilton. <laughs> um, Ronning is still a 69. We have left him up there. Abramov has grown. Um, Burke Bowden, all's grown a bit, bit better. Sturts, Nurmi. All right, let's look at defense. Um, Branstrom's still a 73. Anderson is still a 67. Wickstrand is a 71. Let's actually do this. I want to put you up there. 14 points. Branstrom's got 30. Branstrom's looking good, too. 30 points. 60 games, pretty much, right? 59, 67. Almost half point per game. Nice, nice. I like to see that as a defenseman. <laughs> 0.5 points per game, 40, 45 points in a year. That's a really, really good defenseman. No, not Matheson. Now our goalie down there in the AHL has been injured. Uh-oh. But luckily we got what's-his-face, who's I think just as good as Gustafson. Or Gustafson. is Hogberg, yep. Marcus Hogberg. We'll put Hogberg because he's a backup. He's a fringe starter potential. And we're going to put in uh, Gustafson on the, the starting position. So, all right, Gust Gustafson. How you doing this year? Okay, but not really great. Look at that. Was that what is that? Six in a row? Six wins in a row. Alright, so we go we're going into Buffalo is at home. Um versus Buffalo. We are going into this game on a six game winning streak. So we're gonna see. Alright, let's uh sim the game here. So we got a six-game winning streak going into the end of the end of the year, going into our one our second to last game against our arch rivals, the Buffalo Sabres. And let's see, first period. And Martin gets the first one. 
Or no, Martin scores with three minutes left, but Rodriguez and Palmonville score to get them up 2-1 to one in the first. Second period, and we come back. Sujimoto scores an old mark to tie it up. Third period, slow sim. Batherson, right off the hop, comes in, puts one past Allmark from basically the boards. And it is 3-2 to two, Tokyo. And Jack Eichel comes up and puts one in past Steve Mason and makes it a game. It's now 3-3. Three to three. All right, power play for Tokyo. Can they score on it? It looks like Buffalo's. Nope, Buffalo's going to kill it off. So 11 minutes left. Are we going to have this one going to go to overtime? Oh, huh? we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Come on, we got to get somebody in here. Lammy, score for us, buddy. On that fourth line legend depth, man. We got to get that. We got somebody. How about this? How about Carver? Ma macaroni man. Okay, there we go. The four minutes left of the fourth or the third period. Macaroni man puts us up three to four or four to three over Buffalo. Can we hold him off for one more minute? No, Montador with the empty netter for a 5-3 victory over the Buffalo Sabres. That makes our win streak at seven. What a way to finish off the year. It looks like we're going to finish the year hot. Where's our three stars? Is it going to show us? No, it's not going to show us, but that's okay. Um, all right, so we're going to sim that up here to the New York Rangers game. So we are on a seven-game winning streak. Let's see how we do against Florida here. We lost to them last time we played them in a shootout. We lost them again. Regulation four to one, and we got two, two, uh, three, three losses in a row. One in overtime, though. We're still at eighty-eight points, ninety-nine points. <laughs> we should, that should be good enough for the playoffs. We got three games left. Let's just see. That should be good enough for the playoffs. Sure. It's almost, we got us hundred points. Yeah, we're second in the league. We're second in the division. Um, how are we still doing league wide? Um, tied with Columbus. <laughs> yeah, looks like we are um, the we are tied for third with Columbus in the league so yeah top five in the league um i don't think we have anything to worry about when it comes to uh making the playoffs we can lose these three games and probably still make it however i want to beat new york and buffalo yet again before the end of the year so let's go to this game oh i don't want to play it let's try this again there we go sim game all right oh, what the fuck why did it switch you guys saw that right why is it reversed for when you play than when it is when you sim? I don't get it. All right, so goals. Let's see. First period. Oof. We open it up. Montador, Man, and Grabner all get top two lines. are all scoring. Three nothing after three nothing after one. And second period. Oh, it looks like Buchnevich comes in gets one. But they're still they're still far behind. But we're gonna we're gonna slow sim here up the third period. See if we can hold them off. Maybe we can. Oh, then Montador with his second of the game against Condon, guy who I kept calling Mason the first video. And Lemieux scores one on Condon to make it five to one. My goodness, Montador, come on, buddy, get get that hat trick. Get a hatty, Montador. Big Bruce. Lemieux gets his second. Come on, I, both of you. Okay, I, I want Big Bruce and, Le, and, and, and Lemieux both to score one more goal. Come on, you both need one more. Make it 8-1 and have you both get a hat trick in the third period. That would be awesome. Why is it frozen? Okay, there we go. It looked like it wasn't work. It looked like it was freezing. Anyways, we got a power play. Can we score? And Lemieux gets the hat trick. The natural hat trick against the New York Rangers. Wow. That is just insane. Look at that goal scoring. 7-1. to one. New York can't do anything. The, the rebuild is real. The rebuild is real. What a freaking trouncing. We just destroyed New York. Um, can we view the... Okay, here we go. This is where. Three stars. Who's the three stars? Um, Grabner with one goal and four assists. Five-point game for Grabner. Four-point game for Montador. Two goals, two assists, three hits. And then Lemieux with the Hattie. The natural hat trick in the third period. Not too bad. Good job, boys. That was a that was a, a, a very convincing, convincing win against the New York Rangers. All right, and we here we go. We're going to here to the final matchup between us and the Buffalo Sabres in the regular season. They are a little bit worse than us, but we're still less than 25 wins. Can we end the year with less than 25 regulation wins? I'd like that. Because I think we're at 101 points right now. Yeah, we're at 101 points. All right, we're going to sim this game. See how we do at Buffalo. So we're going to finish the year off against Buffalo in Buffalo. And 
let's see. Oop, no, I don't want to do that. There we go. First period, and it looks like we got Pomaville and Gergensen both score, but uh, HHG gets one back uh, past Allmark to keep us in the game. All right, let's see. Second period. Two again. Looks like Eberly scores. Then Montour comes back and gets another one, but Skinner scores to put him up 4-2. to two. Does not look good, boys. It does not look good. For the for us. Oh, never mind. Freddie Senpai and Captain Clutch coming in right off the hop, getting us up, up or getting us up, getting a goal, getting us within one. Sorry, I was gonna get us, said get us up by one, but no, getting us within one. Can we get some more depth? Come on, guys. We got we we got all kinds of talent on this team. Somebody can tie this up. Let's tie the game. But let's at least if we're gonna lose, let's at least lose against them in overtime. Let's push it to overtime. Let's make them hurt. Let's make them earn the win. Come on, we got a power play. Let's make it count. Let's we can do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Man, our power play doesn't seem to be doing good in these games that we're watching. Come on, boys. Let's do it. We got four minutes left. Come on. Come on. Somebody somebody got a score. Tie it up. There's two minutes left. You can do it. Freddie, get another one. Somebody. Oh. Yes. Yes, thank you. I called it. Freddie Senpai with the game time goal to push us to overtime. And you guys know what that means. That means we get to watch the five minute overtime period because I do that whenever it's overtime. All right, computer versus computer game. Let's see, our jerseys are gonna be that, sure. We are gonna have you do, I don't want those. I want, I don't think they have them in this one, but I'm gonna look and see. That's the winter classic, no. Nope, that's the buff slug, I don't want the buff slug. I don't want that one. This is the winter classic or is it just classic? They don't have it. Nope. I was looking for the red one. What's the 0607 home? Is that the Buffa Slug? Yeah, let's have him play at the Buffa Slug. Because those things are fugly. So let's go. We're going to watch it. We're going to see how they do. Five minutes overtime. Can we, can we win this? Can we win it in overtime? I said I wanted to at least lose. If we're going to lose, we're going to lose in overtime. And Freddy Senpai, the freaking legend that he is, scores to scores the the fourth goal of the his, or his second goal in a row of the period to freaking bring us into overtime so we got jack eagle versus montador and i don't know who else in the three on three lines i didn't look we'll find out though Rissalanen over to Ramberly. Everly's coming up the right side back to Rissalanen up the mutt with a big old broken stick and gcg's in net Ooh, did we pull them did, did they run mason out of the net Top 10 in Pims, Odd Man Rush, John Carver, Taro, Sujimoto, Bruce Montador, and John Martin. <laughs> Five of the top 10 guys are on our team for penalty minutes. We're still fourth in the league. I love it. Who says you can't win with physical play? That's bullshit. Sujimoto on a breakaway, or a bit of a breakaway. He just got all kinds of speed. Not a very good shot, though. Allmark makes an easy save on him. John Carver, top 10 in hits with 169 behind Nazem Kadri and Jonathan Taves. That will change, I promise. The Sabres have just been average in the shootout, guys. They don't get All right, Montador loses the faceoff. Who's this? They they Somebody. I can't see who it is. I think it was Ristolainen. Yeah, there's Everly. Unknown makes a nice save. Sujimoto picks up the recovery, and he's going to dangle it completely behind him and lose it like a goof. What are you doing, Sujimoto? You're better than that. You just, like, dangled yourself out of... You just, you just out-dangled yourself. Look at these. Look at the freaking brick wall that is GCG Unknown. You cannot score on him. When he gets called into a game to relieve his buddy Mason, he doesn't let a damn fucking thing in. You not, you know you can guarantee on that. You can take that to the freaking Vegas and bet on it. I say that, and he's probably going to let a goal in now, and we're going to lose. Oh, no, look at that. Uh, Eichel just passes it right into Everly. Oh, and then 48. I don't know who number, number... Oh, he might be injured. He's moving a little slow. He definitely just blocked a shot with his ankle, and that did not look like it felt very good. Over to... I didn't see who that was. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, my God. They were almost in. That was so freaking close. Oh, that was a nice play, though. That went right over uh, freaking Allmark. I think it was Allmark. Went over Allmark and freaking... Yeah, that was... Oosh. Look at these saves, though. Talk about rebound control, man. Future legend right there. Future Hall of Fame goaltender. GCG unknown. All right, Reinhardt. I think it's Reinhardt coming up here on the left. Middle stats over over to the right side. He's going to dangle around. See back to Darlene. Oh, God damn it. I knew that was going to happen. 
That was a weird thing. It was like the animation he went to flip around to cover it up, and it's almost like the animation forced him to just, like, throw it into the net. That's bullshit. That was bullshit. And no, we're not going to rewatch it because I don't want to watch that pain again. I say pain. We're, whatever. We're we're, they may win now, but we're still going to make it in the playoffs, and I'm not even sure. Actually, they might be in the playoffs, too. We'll check before we, the end of the year. But, oh, well, we didn't, we didn't win. We didn't win... The last game against Buffalo this year, but uh, I definitely think that you guys do me a favor, go in there, rewatch back the last few videos, and let me know what our current record is against um, Buffalo and against New York. Um, I think against New York we're, we're we're pretty straight. I know we're undefeated against Montreal. That much I do know because I think we pretty I think we played them what three times almost in the same like two weeks and beat them all three times. And Belleville was able to finish the year with a 500 record, or yeah, probably going to finish with the 500 record. Um, we finished the year. Um, how do we do? Oh, we ended up winning our division with 104 points. Do we? Are we the best in the league? Nope, San Jose's 110. We are the second. We did finish the year second best in the league, though. Look at the freaking Atlantic division. You couldn't make it in without 100 points. Montreal is in the in the playoffs? Yeah, Buffalo's not, Buffalo's not down there. So, uh, let's finish up the regular season here, and we'll see where everybody finishes off completely. Um, and then we will see who our matchup is going to be in the first round. It's going to be against Pittsburgh. Oh, of course. Oh, uh, why? Of course it's Pittsburgh. This, oh, guys. Oh, God. I'm going to end the video here. I don't want to make, I don't, I don't want to watch this right now. I don't want to either watch Tokyo get destroyed by Pittsburgh or watch Tokyo destroy Pittsburgh. And I'm pretty sure the latter is probably going to be the one that's going to happen. Um... But let's see. Um, actually, no. All right. First off, those are good points. Let's see how everybody finished on points. So, all right. Yeah, we're going to finish. The, I'm not going to do the playoffs in the studio. Playoffs will be the next video. But this is where we're, they're going to do our season wrap. Look at this. 83 points. Point per game. 38 goals for Macaroni Man. Holy freaking shit, buddy. 38 and 38 for 76 points. Montador had 66, 27 goals, 39 assists. Grabner had a 57. How is that looking for his, like, career? 57? Is that a career high for him? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a That is. That is a career high for Michael Grabner. With 17 goals and 40 assists for 57 points. Almost as good as uh, back here in 2010-2011 when he had 52. But he had 34 goals that year. He only, he's not, not the goal scorer he once was, but he was a, 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 an assist machine. Which is odd because he's never had a year where he's had more assists than goals. Nope. Oh, yeah, right here. 12 and 14. But, yeah, not, not by that much of a ratio. That's insane. He's definitely more of a goal scorer. So, yeah. Grabner had a career year. Nice. But Camilleri, I bet you this isn't. This can't be one for Camilleri. He's been a lot better than that, right? Or not. It looks like... No, he had one right here. He had 82 points in 2008-09. Um, but still, a very, very respectable year with 56 points for Grabner. I mean, 11 goals, 45 assists. That's insane. I mean, that's... Yeah, that's that's easily a point... Like, half an assist a game. Um, I finished with 54, so I had, what, 38 points? So, 38 points. And then I ended it with 54, so that's 38, 48... So that's what sixteen points in like twenty games or something. So it didn't seem doesn't look like it's really affected um, that. Let me with fifty three. Carver had forty points as his defenseman, top scoring, top goal scoring defenseman, top point producing defenseman. John John Carver. HHG had thirty eight with eighteen goals. Senpai had thirty seven with fourteen. Those two big big awesome ones right there at the against New York. Uh, Martin had 32, Batherson with 28, Lammy with 25, Odd Man Rush with 22. Ten goals, though. Nice job, buddy. Uh, Mark Stewart, not a single goal. Same thing with Cam Barker, but Cam Barker did eventually finish with 12 points, which is <laughs> respectable for being a 70 overall. Um, what about Justin Falk? Because he's the one who's yeah, He had five points in 48 games. Yeah, Cam Barker played five less games and had seven more points and Falk's like six overall higher but that's Falk's also a defensive defenseman too and Kit Barker is an offensive defenseman so a 70 overall offensive defenseman at 33 years old gets 12 points 
12 points. He's an AHL top two, so he's like not even a seventh defenseman anymore. Uh, but yeah, let's look at goals. I think I'm pretty sure Man, Macaroni Man is gonna be that 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 leading goal. Yeah, him and Suji Moto. But that's insane that he out. Well, look at him. Wow, look at his slap. Look at his shooting. 99 across the board. No wonder he's outscoring Suji Moto. Because Suji Moto is 92, 90, 92, 90. But holy crap, buddy! 38 goals. What a rookie season. I mean, damn. Suji Moto is gonna win the Calder, but only barely. Um. Well, he might not win the Calder. I don't know. We'll see what Pedersen has, but I'm pretty sure 80, 83 points is good enough for the Calder. Mason went 35, 20, and 6 with 5 shutouts, a 9.22 save percentage, and 2.57 goals against average. And yeah, so uh, yeah, GCG came up a lot. 11, 7, and 7 with no shutouts, but a 9.10 save percentage, and 2.87 goals against average. He had uh, 22, 31 points for us, which is way more. Like you want your backup goalie to get is at least a point per game with his win loss over time like you want him to average at least one point for every game that he plays and uh gcg unknown has got well over that so we are quite quite happy with his production so is he growing at all no he is still a 79 high starter but i think he will easily get some good growth in the in the offseason you can see him probably be in the low 80s next year well he'll definitely be the low 80s i mean at the very minimum he's probably gonna jump to an 81 but i bet he does better than that um let's look at the um AHL guys and see so Matheson finished with 21 19 and 6 with four shutouts a 915 save percentage and a 2.51 goals against average pretty freaking solid for a starter down there in the AHL he's probably gonna need maybe one more year of seasoning unless he really gets a good jump this year um in the offseason but definitely a solid and good prospect for us going forward and George Peros the enforcer yeah he's he's a no he's a grinder right Oh, he's a two-way forward. Yeah, I definitely did not make him a two-way forward. Definitely, these guys are definitely getting changed for whatever fucking reason. But anyways, that's weird. But George Paris led the, lead, led the team with 44 points, 28 goals, 16 assists. That's crazy. But I'm okay with him being a two-way. Um, Nick Paul, 17, 27, and 4. Or 17 and 27 for 44 points. Um, then we had Hamilton at 12. Aramob with 42. Nice. Tambellini with 40. Ty Ronning at 38 with 25 goals. Of the second best on the team. That is second best on the team. Him and Peros are the two best goal scoring players on the team. Nice. Um, so let's go back to points here, please, and thank you. <laughs> Um, Stanley Ron and Klimchuk had 37. Brandstrom had one goal, but he had 32 assists. So 33 points. Best defenseman on the league, on the team. Him and Wickstrand. Weird that Wickstrand would produce this well. Like, I've never seen him produce this well. I mean, he's still only a 71 overall. He's not going to be an NHLer. I mean, we could really try to force it, but I doubt it. I just really doubt it's going to happen. Um, Burke had 26. Sturtz had 28. How about, where's Axel Anderson? 19.3 goals, 16 assists. Not too shabby. And all these guys down here. Um, oh, Boston Lear had three assists in the nine games he played. Not too shabby. Um, all right, that's it for me. So let's check. Um, go back up here. I'm going to go to rookie skaters. Um, pretty much our entire team is rookies. So definitely the, the one to be paying attention to is Taro Sujimoto. who's an 88 overall, 21 years old, with finished with 83 points. Let's check the entire league and see where the... Oh, yeah. Oh my god, Sujimoto, Man, and Montador, all the top three rookies in the league. Top three rookies in the league, <laughs> right there, hell yeah. And then we got me, I'm right there, and then Mario Lemieux. So we had of uh, the top, what's it, three, six, nine, where's ten? Okay, so of the ten, also best defenseman, and best rookie defenseman in the league, John Carver, hell yeah. The six foot nine, 290 pound, freaking champion well not champion yet but freaking enforcer phenomenon so of the 10 of the top 10 rookies this year we have one two three four five and six six of the top 10 rookies in the league this year were on the tokyo ninjas that's why we're in the freaking playoffs but all right let's check team stats We'll check team stats now. We'll see how our, our special teams and all that good stuff went. So, all right. We were first in our division. I think we were, let's see, entire league. We'll just go with the entire league. All right. So, we were second in the whole league with 104 points, 46 wins, 24 losses, 12 overtime losses. Um, let's see. 
Goals for per game, we average 3.17. Goals against per game, let's see what this is. So goals for per game, we were 3.17. Let me no report on this team. Oh, I didn't hit the right button, that's why. Um, wow, so we led the team in goals for, or led the league in goals for. Bet and, and Pittsburgh was right behind us, so there we go. The two best goal scoring teams in the league are playing each other in the first round of the playoffs. Well, that says something. That really says something. That really could 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 be this really could be an interesting series now. Okay, so our goals against was two point seven one. Um, oops, wrong thing. We're definitely not first at that. Um, let's see where do we live. This is what nine. One two three four five six seven eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14th. So we are 14th in the league for goals against. Actually, no, that would be 14th worst, not 14th best, right? Yes, that would be 14th, 14th worst. So, um, wow, look at that. San Jose had the best goals against per game. It's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. So we're 18th in the league. So 18th in the league for goals against. Um, we are uh, power play. What was our power play like? Oh, no, 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 no. That was worst. What's the best? Where are we? Right here. So we're, 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 in, the, we're in the top 10. 20.2 for our power play. Um, where is the penalty kill? 85, so yeah, our uh, our special teams are looking really, really good. 85%, is that the best penalty kill? No, we are second behind Montreal for the best penalty kill in the league. Nice. Um, so shorthanded, goals for, okay, well that's fine. Um, home record, we are 21, 13, and 7. Away record, we are 25, 11, and 5. And our last thing, we are 6, 2, and 2 in our last 10. So yeah, we're, we're, we're coming in hot. We're coming in the playoffs hot. Um, I forgot to check something. Let's go for more. We need to go back here. I forgot to check the overall. Okay, so game winning goals. So like Suji Motors is going to leave with that with nine. Uh, power play goals is 11. Or no, L L Lemieux with 11. Sujimoto man with 12. Or Lemieux with 12. Sujimoto and man with 11. Uh, power play points. It's going to be Sujimoto with 28. Man and Lemieux right behind him, so it looks like these guys need to be on the power play together. I think these three guys—they look like they're 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 the they're the special teams guys. Short-handed goals. Um, we just had two Montador and Sujimoto, and then Montador had two points on the uh, two short-handed points, and then Sujimoto and uh, Clayton Stoner both had one. Really, Clayton Stoner? You were like the one guy who had like a short-handed point. Um, all right, face-offs, hits. John Carver with 174 hits. Wow. Um, all right. Let's see. Giveaways, takeaways. Um, look at this though. Sujimoto, what the freaking defensive guy? I mean, wow. Mark Stewart though. Holy hell, dude. Really. That's just awful. Fights. Look at all these fights. Odd men rush with 20 fights leading leading the freaking Tokyo Ninjas in fights. Carver had 17, Sujimoto had 50, Montero had 11, Martin had 11, Yankee had 9. Who didn't fight on our team, basically? Let's just see who didn't fight. Camilleri, Oduya, Barker, Grabner, Falk, Batherson, Colburn, and Colburn. So everybody on our team fought that we made. Everyone. Everybody fought at least once. I mean, even the playmakers, even, you know... Uh, Freddie Senpai had a couple. He had eight fights. Look at that. Eight. That's pretty awesome. Um, yeah. All right. So that's pretty. Actually, let's go for fights in the league. So we got uh, Odd Man Rush, right? Had 20. Let's look at the whole league and see if he, uh, him and uh, him and Revo, who got the best there. <laughs> yep. Reeves won more. He had one more fight than Odd Man Rush. But then the next three are... Odd Man Rush, John Carver, and Sujimoto. Then we got Montador, Martin, and Man. So most of the fighters in the league are... Are we just fighting each other? I think I think we're just getting mad and fighting each other on, on the fucking ice. Because there's nobody else in the league to fight. We're just going to fight each other. Oh, goodness. Um, all right, let's go for... Uh, let's look at goalies, eh? Let's uh, look at our guys. Um, let's go back to... Um, Hold on, let's go back to the ninjas here. And we're gonna check out our uh, check out how Mason and Unknown did this year. Uh, Steve Mason, yeah, yeah, yeah. We already looked at these guys. I forgot. What are you, are you still seventy nine? Yeah. Um, cool. 
He's listed as a backup. All right. Um, let's look at the entire league and see what the goaltenders are looking like. Let's see uh, what Murray's looking like. See how, how what kind of a year he had. So save percentage. Who had the best save percentage? Martin Jones. Ooh, wow. 9-3-1, 2.04 goals against average, 51. Ooh, wow. There's probably your, your, your Vezina guy right there. Best goal in the league. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's going to be pretty, pretty hard to top. Where is, um, what's my goals against? Let's look at goals against. See if there's anybody who had less than him. Um, nope, he is also the leader for goals against. Yep, and wins. Is he the leader for wins as well? He is the leader for wins. Okay. Um, Mason, here we go. 9222.57. Where does he sit on save percentage? 922. Should be down here a bit. Mason. 2.29.22. or .922. He's up there with Pekka Rene and Peter Morazic, Carter Hutton, Mike Smith, or no, oh yeah. No, he's up there with uh, Morazic and Rene. Um, better goals against than both, though. Let's go by, go let's look at goals against now and see who's got the best of those. We already had that, yep, yep, yep. Um, Rene, Smith, Price, where is he? Does Smith, does Smith look pretty solid this year? I don't see Murray yet, though. Do we go past Mason? Oh, there he is right there. Um, yeah, he's he's not he's there with Grubauer and Kincaid, two guys who played like a third of many games as he did. Um, looks like him and Flurry. Yeah, <laughs> that's not bad though. He had a better year than fucking Ma than fucking Mark Andre Flurry did. So I guess apparently this year you could argue that Steve Mason's a better goaltender than Mark Andre Flurry. I would never ever ever fucking say that. I mean, I love Flurry. I would never in my life ever say that Steve Mason is a better goalie. However, I think that Steve Mason has had an insanely good career, um, or insanely good um, year this year. I mean, he played 61 games, he had 35 wins. I mean, he he, he the, as far as wins go, the best thing he, best one he has is 14 right here, right? Yeah, and uh, 08-09. which was his rookie season. I mean, he literally is is is. He's better than he was in his rookie season, and he won the Calder that year. So he's come back to his his um his youth. He's it's like it's like we 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 put him in a time machine. And we got you know rookie Steve Mason back. It's crazy, but I love it. It looks great. I mean, hopefully he can do well for us in the playoffs going forward and see how uh, see how that does. But that that's pretty crazy. Pretty good. I like that. So, anyways, that's gonna be it for me, guys. Um. Let's, uh, so let's, before we do, just, we'll do this in the next video too, but I want to view lines, so let's, um, let's quickly look at our lines real quick. We're listed as a rebuilder too, that's really funny how we're listed as a rebuilder and we're fucking third in the league. So here's our, our line going forward so far. Um, we got Grabner, Montador, and Sujimoto on that first line. On the second line, we... Got Freddy Senpai, Cranky Yankee, and Macaroni Man, who are all at 80 overall. John Martin is also up to an 80 overall now. We got on the third line. We got uh, Mike Camilleri, Mario Lemieux, and John Martin. And on the fourth line, we have Jaron Lamy, Drake Batherson, and HHG. For defense, we have Oddman Rush and John Carver, who are both an 81 overall. Then we got Mark Stewart, Clayton Soder, Cam Barker, and Johnny Oduya. I think we are going to take out Barker and we are going to put in Falk because he is a little bit better. So we might as well. And then for goaltenders, obviously, we have Steve Mason and GCG Unknown. Now, let's go and view lines, and let's check out how Pittsburgh matches up to us. And I'm pretty sure we're going to go look at Pittsburgh, and Pittsburgh is going to be like um, hella crazy. Um the screen capture button and I wanted to make sure I didn't stop recording um, but that's okay so it looks like I can do that while I'm recording so that's cool so let's go back to Pittsburgh um, we'll go back and um, um, and we'll we'll check out Pittsburgh and see what they're doing um, see what they look like and then we'll end the video there um, do, 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 do. Pittsburgh so we got Hornkers, Crosby and Kessel on that first line yeah they definitely got us beat in that first line Gensel, Malkin and Bukestad on the second line yeah they got I easily got us beat there um Jimmy Hayes, 
Brian Rust and Zach Aston Reese on that third line. Not a bad third line. Um, here's where we probably may have them beat down here is this third line, maybe the fourth line too. Like we've got some really solid guys down here. Um, they got Matt Cullen, Jared McCann, and Dar and Dominic. Do they have entirely all centers? No, they have Patrick Hornquist, who's a right wing. So we have they have one, 